Welcome to more with Les. Peter Niven is the Chief Scout with the Moncton Wildcats. Always a pleasure to talk to him. And, uh, Peter, let's start with this year's team, and then we'll get to the draft and so on. Uh, one of the, the great surprises, the pleasant ones for the Moncton Wildcats, has been the play of uh, Alain Alexonier. Did you really expect them to do as well as they have done? Well, first of all, I think when we look back at the draft, uh, we certainly didn't expect them to be where they were uh, when we selected them. And uh, we had to take one and then take the next one, in the, I think, in the next round, if memory serves me correct. Yes. And uh, it was a gamble that we would get both of them because uh, our understanding from both players was they won't, certainly wanted to play together. And uh, there may be some question whether they would report or wouldn't if they were split up. So uh, we took the gamble, and, uh, you know, thanks to Danny and, and Mr. Irving, they were uh, more than willing to do that. And it worked out not only for them as players, but for us as a team. And as, as well as they're playing, uh, down the road, yes, I didn't think, to be honest with you, they would uh, be so effective this early in the season uh, or within their first year. I thought maybe they may have to split the season between uh, a junior A level and, and the Q level. Uh, but uh, it's it's good. They've helped us, and uh, they've certainly made a name for themselves. Is it a case of, of uh, coming up to the level of your competition? I think so. I think they, the the challenge was thrown to them, and uh, you know they've they've come to the top sort of thing. And there's no question about their uh, their skills and their hockey sense. Maybe there was some question about maybe their uh, their size and the speed. Uh, but I think their smarts are uh, helping them overcome their speed. Okay, uh, you go to a lot of hockey games a year, and a lot of the people who are watching this don't realize how many. Uh, give us an idea of how many games you actually watch. Well, it's. <laughs> Between, between midget, uh, the Q, and so-called high school and prep in the States, it's probably uh, a minimum would be about 275 a year games, um, somewhere in the, in the low 300s, like 310, maybe 315. And it's, uh, it's, it's quite a few kilometers in the car, and it's a few, uh, few air miles and so on and so forth, so, uh, and a few cold arenas. <laughs> uh, it's a pleasure coming to uh, coming to the Coliseum and uh, made, doing major junior games. It's uh, at least I can dress half comfortably, but th that's norm. And um, we basically start now because hockey's almost the 12 months of the year. Uh, there's probably about a six week period that we're not doing games, and outside of that six weeks. For the other uh, ten and a half months, uh, you know, we're pretty well in arenas. Uh, now it's it's uh, February, and I'm sure you've already started uh, building a dossier on uh, the players that you'll go for in uh, the upcoming draft this year. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, uh, you know, everything starts, and uh, at Christmas time, I've I met with the scouting staff of the Moncton Wildcats, and uh, we composed what we call our midseason list. And at that time, uh, you know, the, the first round pick as well as the, the uh, 12th round pick is very important to us. But at that time, we don't know what trades we're going to get into and where we're going to end coming into the draft. Uh, certainly after the draft's uh, over, we have a better uh, roadmap in regards to where we're headed. And right now, going into this year's draft of 2010, uh, we don't have a pick until the third round. And we've, we've been uh, through that uh, kind of road uh, before. And uh, we have a third, four, two fives, and, and from there on. And I'm sure come June uh, of draft day, we, we will probably have another one or two high round picks. Mm -hmm. How important is that uh, to get in there early and, and get a pick? You, you picked early last year, and, and uh, you know, Boussier uh, was, was, was traded, uh, left the team. Uh, does that say anything? Well, yeah, usually your first round is, is probably 90% of the time is your highly skilled players. Uh, I'm not saying that the people that are going the third or the fourth rounds, and I think the Sonyes will, will prove that fact as being correct. Uh, 